Hey everyone, this is Nick, and I'm gonna post a really quick video today on how to edit live charts in PowerPoint. So sometimes somebody might send you a slide like this, and it already has a chart inside of it. It's not an image, it's a chart that's built right in, but you need to either change some of the data or you need to update it for the next month. So something like this is like a tracking of visitor uh, experience ratings. And when you click here, you can see that it's a live chart. You know it's a live chart because when you click and activate it, up here on the ribbon, the chart design tab opens. If that chart design tab does not open, then you know that this is not a live chart in PowerPoint. Now, if you need to edit the data, all you need to do, there's a couple ways you can do it. I like to just right click on the chart and then click on edit data. When you click edit data, the source file pops up and you can then edit the values. So right here in March, uh, that was 75%, but let's say we needed to change it or update it to 88%. We'll just update that and then you can see that this goes up right here. Perfect, March went up to 88%, and then that also um, updated my average here just because this uh, 2022's value is averaging all of the year's value right here. So if I wanna update for April, I could go ahead and type in 75%, and then maybe May was a really good month, we had 90%. And you can see as I'm updating it, the chart is also updating it too. And then June, let's see, 65%, really bad month. Maybe not so bad, but kind of bad. And then let's see, back up to 90, 89% for July, August, 55%. We're kind of really doing big fluctuations and swings here. And then we go 78%, 77%, our fall was more consistent ending with 80% in December. So then you have your updated chart. This is a great way to sort of keep regular reporting. Maybe you need to do a monthly report and you can just keep the chart right inside of PowerPoint. Every time you get new data, you can right click and edit the data there in PowerPoint. Now another way to edit the data is when you're clicking on the chart, the chart menu, uh, the chart tab on the ribbon comes up the chart design tab. The other thing you can go do is go to this data tab, uh, data menu right here, and either click select data or edit data. So I would say edit data, um, and let's just say edit data in Excel. Either of those buttons should work. If you do edit data in Excel, then the entire workbook pops up on another screen. You can put it over there. If you click on edit data, just the little source window pops up, just like this, and you can edit it there. And then if you click select data, this is going to open the source, but it's also going to open the select data source menu. This is where you could add an extra series of data if you had a new series of data to add, um, or switch the columns um, horizontal, or switch the axis, the, the vertical and horizontal axis. So if you click this, it's going to probably do something crazy to the chart, but let's see what happens. And I'm going to click OK. And you can see, actually, it just totally goes away because this is not a chart that's compatible um, to that. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. We'll click select data again and then the select data source menu is there. I'm gonna say switch row and column, and we should be back to our normal chart. So that is a really quick way that you can edit data inside PowerPoint in your live charts. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time I post a new video in data design, usually PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. I had a great time making this for you and I can't wait to see you all next time.